Hi there, everyone, and this is your January twenty twenty one love monthly forecast reading with me, Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy dot com. First and full foremost, I want to greet you guys a happy, happy, happy New Year, and it is my hope, wish, and desire that you have this year of twenty twenty one be your best year ever. Filled with much love, happiness, and great joy, much better than how it was last year, of course. Now to celebrate this, um, starting this year of twenty twenty one for the month of January, I am doing a very um, highly detailed and in depth reading for each and every every signs out there, basically, wherein I am doing a combination of the tarot. Uh, to give us more of uh, flavor and you know give us give us a more detailed storyline on what might be the energies that could be unfolding for each and every signs out there so just to give us a more uh, a lot more detail a lot more insights and confirmation throughout the reading and I'm also going to be adding in later at the end of the video, uh, so a combination and housing system of the Lenormand cards all at the same time. So, you know, we get the most uh, information out of the readings for this month of January 2021. As I believe that every January, it gives us a flavor on the important themes that might be occurring for us that sets the tone for the rest of the year. So, um... If you are interested to know more on what might be manifesting, what could be happening for the month that could that could re really wrap things up for you for the entire year, then please continue watching and don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button as that will really help me greatly and it's very much appreciated your support to the, this channel for me to continue making videos like this for you guys in the future all at the same time so don't forget to tune in with me for the rest of the video to know more so um yeah without any further ado let's just get started okay so hi there leo leo sun moon and rising sign this is your january 2021 love monthly forecast reading with me chrissy from in the stars by chrissy.com so before anything else i just want to remind you guys that this is a general reading so it may or may not tune in to each and every one of you guys out there so just keep that in mind now when it comes to readings like this because um how i'm doing the reading this month is a bit more detailed and highly specific so um on one aspect that is actually a good thing for you if you are actually resonating and connecting to the reading because it's like getting a free reading itself however on another aspect um because it's too specific, it might not be for everyone. So I cannot stress that enough. So just keep that in mind all at the same time. So I would suggest to take in what resonates and leave the rest behind. So, you know, the energies that will come up it will be like bits and pieces for those people that may not resonate with the reading. So, um, yeah. So, uh, without any further ado, let's just dive into the reading. So, for Leo, um, you have your first card with the Nine of Cups along with the Knight of Pentacles. So, this gives me an energy wherein, you know, you are at the point of your life wherein you have a lot of positive feelings into the year or this could be you know a really feel good moment there's a lot of things that you want to experience that you want to have um you are facing life in a very positive manner or at the very least you are going to if that is not the case yet it is being crossed over by the page of wands and the ace of cups so this is really all about new energy and new beginning so if you have been not so positive for the past few months or maybe uh, recently, this is a situation wherein you have high hopes for the future. And 
there is also an energy here wherein you wanted to change things, you wanted to to move into new realms, uh, new situations. There's a lot of forward momentum, forward movement that we are seeing over here. Especially since the third card that we have over here is the Six of Swords along with the Moon card. So this is really giving me a feeling we're in... Um, Whatever that might have occurred for you in the past, you want to leave it all behind. I'm not saying that you are going to leave a relationship, but it's really more of the feeling like you out with the old and now with the new, um, that kind of energy. Especially since um, with uh, this reading, this specific reading that we are having here, in your past, we have here the Four of Swords and the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is definitely a good thing but when we combine them together it means quite different now there is some form of stagnancy in the situation and there is something that seems so unfulfilled like emotionally you're not entirely satisfied with with your own endeavor with what you're going through maybe the relationship situation there is something that doesn't really go with your jive or that kind of feeling so that could be the situation that you want to get out of. Um, also, we also have here the, the Four of Cups. So there is already a thought here, you know, that has occurred in your recent past that, you know, there's something that is unsatisfying. There are options that you're thinking of doing, but not really ab able to, to begin. You haven't really started anything yet, but you are... You're hoping, you're hoping for change. You're hoping for, you, you're hoping to take a step up into the future. You're hoping to, uh, to, to, to make the first step, you know, to whatever life that you, you are envisioning things to be. Not just for a relationship, but for yourself all at the same time. I do feel that this is more of a situation wherein you are concerned about what really makes you happy, what will make you happy. And, you know, it's really more about emotional fulfillment that you are desiring right here. So all over here, we are seeing here that, you know, you wanted to change the circumstances that you are having. And I I feel that in your, in your past, though, there's something, uh, there is some situation that you cannot control that is bogging you really, really down. And this is something that you are hoping to change. You're hoping for some miracles or you're hoping for things to be a lot more lively, a lot more alive, a lot more joyful this time around, especially as we enter the new year. Uh, over here, though, uh, we are met with the Hermit card and the Four of Wands. I feel that this is a situation wherein you are going to come to realize something in your life. You know, there's going to be some contemplation that you are going to be experiencing. However, you are also going to be taking a look with what's really happening in terms of your emotions. You know, what is really um, what the other person is feeling, what you are feeling might be in take, might be being taken into consideration, especially since we also have here the two of pentacles along with the king of cups. So this is about you re really navigating what is right, what is wrong, what is it, what it is that you want, what is it that you don't want into the situation and trying to find the middle ground into things. So this could be a situation wherein uh, you are, if you are in a relationship, this is something that you might be having a talk with, uh, with your special person in your life. And if you're not in a relationship or there are some complications that um, doesn't allow you to have contact with that specific person, this is something that you might have to do by yourself wherein, you know, you, there's going to be something, uh, some form of options might be presented to you that you need to make a decision of. And I feel that, you know, for the past um, few times that I've been doing the reading, I'm now seeing a common ground here. You know, I feel that a lot of uh, a lot of you guys, not just for those who are in the sign of Leo, but for each and every one of you, 
as a whole, no matter what your sign is, you are at the point of your life wherein you are wanting change and you are wanting to to change the, the circumstances in your love life, in your relationships. And, you know, I kind of feel that, you know, in general, there is a form of temptation. Well, not temptation in a negative way, but uh, a temptation to really change things up. A te- uh, a, an energy here wherein I really, really want to change the circumstances. I don't want to be stuck anymore. So you are now, I would not say fight as in making an argument or conflict, but but really um, you want to, to have some form of freedom to really do what you want to do and be happy with the actions and decisions that you make all at the same time. So we have over here the uh, Eight of Pentacles and the Devil card, which is, you know, this is what I've been um, saying earlier, really wanting to improve the situation, really taking action. And I kind of feel that your desires to whatever it is that you want to occur, whatever it is that you want to happen is going to be very, very strong. So you are not going to allow um, people or circumstances to stop you from whatever it is that you want and whatever it is that you are desiring, especially um, this month of January. Over here, we have here the Six of Wands along with the Hangman card. So you might be, um, um, there's a lot of wishes and really um, stepping things forward. You are, you know, envisioning, you could be manifesting success and abundance in your life, which is always a good thing. The overall that I'm really picking up here is your energy to really grab hold of uh, your own dreams, your own desires of what you really want to happen. You are wanting to change the status quo. And um, I'm really not seeing much of the dynamics of the relationship here. So I kind of feel that whatever decision and changes that you might need to do, this is something that you are going to decide with yourself. You know, you're not going to ask for an approval from someone or your partner. I mean... <laughs> Um, uh, whether that is the right decision or not is I feel is another topic and another type of scenario but I kind of feel that this is a point wherein um, you're not afraid to to create the changes um, because it is something that's gonna be making you happy anyway so you have that you know uh, something is really pushing you to take action and to giving you confidence and willpower to whatever decisions that you are going to be making or um at the very least these these are the influences that, that are coming ahead over here with the strength card and the three of pentacles as the overall card of the reading, you might be at the point wherein if someone is not willing to talk to you or maybe they're trying to avoid certain conversations, certain um, contracts or certain uh, topics at hand, they might be trying to avoid it. You are going to be in a situation wherein you are going to be powerfully expressing this and um, maybe trying to talk things out in a way wherein they won't be able to avoid the confrontation anymore. You know, they won't be able to avoid whatever topics that needs to be discussed. So, you know, um, basically you are in great power this time around, Leos. So no matter what your sign is, sun, moon, and rising sign, I feel that, you know, if you have a goal in mind, there is something that you want to happen, that you wanted to achieve. And then if other people are trying to stop you from taking action, um, they are not going to be successful with that because you are going to be... Um, at the top of your game and you are going to be successful with what it is that you are desiring um, to take action, you know, 
to take action of, you know, whatever it is that you wanted to initiate, that is something that you are really going to uh, come ahead. So, and this might be just a good thing. Uh, this might clear out some problems in the relationship if you already are having relationship issues. Um, any, any... Um, doubts in your relationships, any unsettled energy, or feeling restless or feeling boredom or something, you know, these are the things that can be cleared out because you t you have taken the initiative because you are willing to to take action. So sometimes um, in a relationship setup, you know, I know it takes two to tango, and. Yes, I do understand that. But sometimes it's not just about understanding a relationship. Sometimes one person needs to initiate something for things to really get moving. And that is somehow the, the relationship situation that I'm seeing in this reading. We're in, yes, there could be frustration in the relationship. There could be communication that is not really connecting or really tuning in. There could be a lack of compromise that has occurred or will occur. Um, however, um, even though that there is going to be agreement or disagreement, um, you are going to take the initiative to to have the... Um, uh, I don't think confidence is the right word, but um, it's like having the guts to to push through and to deal with, the, with this conversation, to deal with this scenario. It's like, you know, some people or some... Um, some relationships, some couples, um, they're trying. They they are afraid to talk about certain things because they are afraid of what the other person is gonna think, or they are afraid of what might occur uh, for the relationship. What, how things might end up? Uh, is it gonna hurt me? Is it gonna hurt them? Things might just get messy. But for you, the way that I'm seeing here is that you're not gonna be afraid. You are gonna go through with it. And that might just lead to some form of um, clarity and insightful situation in the end. And for many of you, this can also be a situation wherein you might re reharmonize and rebalance an unbalanced situation. So, you know, um, and it's all thanks to your own um, decision making skills all at the same time. So now let's go with the Lenormand. Um, it's very funny because I really shuffled the cards really, really well. And I still got this ring and, and book card. So um, it gives me that feeling we're in. <laughs> like uh, whenever I do the Lenormand readings at the end, I always get this combination or at the very least, I always see these two cards. So it gives me an energy here we're in. Uh, maybe a lot of people are discovering something, you know, learning something. Or um, finding out something in their situation or in their relationship. Or they could be um, desiring change as a whole along with the crossroads as well. So I've been seeing all of those cards um, in all of these readings for the month of January for whatever reason. So um, for you guys, this is happening in a way wherein you might be discovering a few things. And you might be wanting to push through something about a relationship that that seems cloudy or a relationship wherein you don't know where you stand or you don't know what this relationship is all about or you are getting confused about a specific person or a specific friend even, you know, this is something that you want to get um, clarity on. Uh, so you are going to maybe reach out to them or some form of conversations and communications might be getting ahead. Um, and, you know, this might just, you know, uh, when we see the crossroads, definitely there is decision that's going to be done. Um, there's going to be options and decision that will happen in a very immediate way. And it could be quite unexpected. And because we have this site here, um, this could be also a situation wherein uh, harsh, harsh decisions might happen all at the same time. Or, um, or you might benefit from uh, a very impulsive decisions as well. Uh, 
overall, I just see that there's definitely going to be some form of communications. Yes, there is going to be some form of frustrations and setbacks. Um, but there's also going to be some form of answers going to be given to you as a result, you know. So uh, there could be change. Uh, however, I do... Um, I do, my, my biggest advice here basically is to take it slow because I kind of feel that for some of you guys, you are in the, in, in, in that moment we're in, go, go, go. I want to express what I got, what I want to say. And even though it's going to be very, very harsh, you know, I kind of feel that there is a tendency to have some form of clashes and, you know, high tension moments with a specific person. Uh, you know, it's not... It's not going to be very surprising if there are fights and arguments that comes as a result. Um, uh, but yes, uh, I feel that you should use your own intuition in handling the situation. I just hope that it doesn't go out of hand. However, um, at this moment in time, I know that you are seeking answers and you are going to get your answers done. Uh, you are going to to do something, to to really understand whatever it is that is confusing you in the relationships that you have right now or with a specific person in mind all at the same time. Uh, just do know that you being a Leo, um, sometimes you can be so passionate that the other person can get burned. So, you know, just do things in a very moderate way is probably going to be my advice. However, uh, do as you fit. Um, this is going to be a moment of clarity um, in getting answers that will allow you to really um, push things forward. And finally, um, it's like finally um, moving a clock that has been stopped. That has been stopped in time for such a long period. You know, that kind of thing. So it will allow you to really um, get your time clock moving again, no matter what that means for you. So um, that is basically the initial uh, message of this reading. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. If you do want a more personal reading, specifically done for you and your own situation, you can do that by booking a session with me through my website, in the stars by Chrissy.com. And I shall see you guys again next month. Goodbye.